Oh, hello everybody. Getting after it today. So the computer was used for a short amount of time. The rest of the time I've been taping, getting things ready, moving the spice rack. I am not a good painter, not a good taper. I really try to take my time, but no matter what, no matter how hard I try to get clean lines, it never works, but it's my bus. It's gonna be perfect. So the pantry is prepped, ready to go. I'm seeming to move some of that stuff back. All the doors are outside, ready to be painted. The wind is starting to pick up, so I'm gonna get the first coat on these. Still need to remove the hardware real quick. Uh, gonna do two coats using the same color that I used right here. Very excited. And I was looking at this and I really thought about actually painting this wall that color. So keeping the rest of this all white, but having a dark wall right here as a divider, and I, I think it'd look awesome, but I can always go back and add paint. It's really hard to take it off. So right now I'm just kind of playing around with it. Something so wild that I had to make it mine On the roof where two hearts collide God sits while he wonders why She chose me When a lifetime so brief And oh well Dark in the heart and lost in the soul a timid feline who loved with her home She lit a match on Mr. Dark Before I knew it, he began Done for it today, getting a little loopy It's around 9 o'clock, typically when I start going to bed, getting ready for bed Still have all the spices I don't need to put up tomorrow All the lids are over there, but Kind of looking good, I'm excited to see what this looks like during the day Definitely, uh darkens it up in here but I do love the stainless with the dark color got the pantry looks really really good with the stainless uh, back here I have this stainless shield off I'll put this back tomorrow it seems to be uh, screwed back on so I need to do some touching up here the doors are outside I didn't finish them uh, got another coat on them tomorrow then I'm going to take these out and get in there, paint all the sides, but I like it. Really, really like it. I like the way this is turning out. Tomorrow we're also getting the raw materials to start the wood, so I'll have more painting to do with the upper up here. It's all going to be the same color. I'm really digging this color. Really glad I went with it. I think the spice rack is going to look awesome now too with the stainless lids with all the different colored spices right up there. I'm tired. It's been a long day. I do not like painting, but got my first show coming up, so I just gotta get after it. See you tomorrow morning. And gave up drinking all with all his wicked ways. Okay, the next day I have been busy. We have the kitchen done for now. I still need to take everything out later, uh, paint the inside, but for right now that will definitely do. Lowers are done, pantry's done. It's looking good. The rear storage back here is done. I am stoked on how this color turned out. I'll do Kobuk's kennel later. Um, I actually don't mind the uh, the bifurcation of the colors there. It actually looks fairly decent, but I just don't want to take that off. I don't have a uh, air pressure um, system right now in the bus, so if I take those staples out, that door is going to be a pain. I could just leave the door off, honestly. It's not like I ever leave him in there. For the rest of the day, 
Uh, Eric is doing some of the custom woodwork for the rear here. As I mentioned to some of you before, upper here, upper here, AC unit's gonna go where the cow skull is. I think the cow skull is going to go right here over the couch, but we'll see. I was thinking right here. We'll see. So got some cleaning up to do. Obviously just been working all day. Right now I'm just getting things organized in here, cleaned up. I've, I've found that I've been doing a lot more since I got back from Europe, just keeping this thing more clean. And now that I'll have extra storage next to the bed, above the bed, um, also on top of the fridge, what I'm hoping to do is actually get all of this put somewhere, like tools and all the cabinets, get rid of that mess. And that way I won't have any extra storage really in the bus. So that means by the time I do get the underbay storage, I'll have tons of room. But I'm gonna continue cleaning and working. We are making some good progress, got some good light. I'm gonna show you what Eric has been up to. I've been working online, but we now have uppers in the living room. As you can see, I have it taped off. We went with this little bit of a funky drawer here. This is gonna be open face, just gonna put knickknacks, gifts, small things that people give me. With Wes's bus, you might notice that he has like a little shrine area almost. I plan on doing the same right there. I really liked how he did that. Also, you can see up here, this is removable. I had all those wires running through uh, the wiring harness that is now all covered and it's all accessible. So you can see up there, there's screw holes or there's screws in there rather where I can just go in, unscrew that and access that run. So right now I am about to start painting this section here. Just wanna get all this done before the show. And also I'm just hanging out. I've been, like I said, working all day. I wanna do something physical. Uh, so yeah, we got the living room set up, pretty much ready to go. Gonna throw a couple coats of paint on this. Uh, I actually might have him add another bar right up here just to keep things from falling over. Right now it has about half inch, three quarters of an inch lip, but might need to add a little bit more. Uh, kitchen is looking great as you can see with the better light. Last time you saw it, it was pretty dark. Um, I'm really digging how the stainless how this dark uh, paint is looking. We also have uh, a cabinet up above the fridge. Gonna add a couple doors up here. Down in there is actually where the ladder is gonna be stored now. So the ladder slides right in there. It's at an angle with a lip, so it's not gonna be moving anywhere. Also, you can see it's open in there to allow ventilation uh, for the fridge and just extra storage up here. Pantry. Moving back into the bedroom area. Let's see how this all turned out. It looks great. And after I get done in the living room, I'm gonna be back here taping off the bedroom. So upper, upper, AC is gonna go in the middle and two storage areas at the side of the bed. As you can see, we're making some pretty good progress. Pretty much after this, the only thing I have left is the bathroom. I did actually paint some in the bathroom, but thinking about doing the same type of upper shelf and then shelves up above here, but that is more of a timing thing. Basically I'm paying him for a week worth of work and if we have enough time, I forget what day I actually got here, but I still think we have two or three days, so I might have plenty of time to get that bathroom done. And yeah, it's uh, it's looking good, so I'm gonna get to work on getting this painted. One more day here in Pahrump and going to be heading either to California to pick up a tow car or up to Oregon. More on that later. Just want to show you the finished work that Eric did. Got the new uppers 
through here, a little bar to hold everything in, as well as storage right here, open face. And up here is access to the wiring harness. So the back plate behind everything up there is removable. So I can get in there, add new things, get to the light wiring and everything. Moving further back, we got some bathroom work done. Just an upper up there, two cabinets, and painted the walls in here. I believe I showed you that earlier. And then most of the work was back here in the bedroom. So two uppers, two lowers, and then the AC is gonna go right there. So Eric did an awesome job. I got everything painted. Essentially, the interior is done besides the ceiling. I know it's everybody's favorite part to mention, but that's gonna be happening in the future. Up here, I have a bunch of stuff I'm gonna be throwing away, it's all trash. Um, gonna try and find a dumpster in town. Also, going into town to do laundry and possibly the grocery store to stock up before I head north, so let's get going. So this spot has been perfect for what we were trying to do. Just getting some work done on the bus. Hung out with uh, Eric and Robin from Wonder Boom. Been a nice, relaxing time. Now I just gotta figure out my way out of here. This is outside of Pahrump. Awesome spot. I highly suggest coming to check it out if you're in the uh, Nevada area. Hasn't been any people coming out to check on us. I haven't had any issues with, uh, with that, so I've been enjoying it. Her name. And one month later, Mr. Dark's on a plane saying, Oh God, how I've missed you. And I won't do it again. Oh, oh God, and how I've missed you. And I won't do it again. But wherever you go, Fireworks store went in, talked to them, asked if I could park here while I do laundry. Turns out they own the building right there as well, and they have a big dumpster. So I said, if I buy some fireworks, would you let me throw all my stuff away in your dumpster and use your laundromat or park in your parking lot? And they said yes. So I have eight dollars worth of fireworks that I don't know when I'll use. So I didn't have to pay, but it's always good to. Uh, you know, keep that karma going in the right direction. Don't want to take advantage of people. The only part that's going to be tricky is getting this thing turned around in here, but I will deal with that later. All right, throwing some stuff away and getting some laundry going. Laundry is done. Heading back to the camp spot. I have a lead on a Honda Element for a tow car, as well as a place to get everything installed. I'll tell you more about that later. So let's go.